Today, we're going to cover the six ways to screw up your recruiting agency and prevent yourself from building, scaling, and making more money. So I love watching a lot of Alex Hermosi's videos. He's got a really great YouTube channel. It's great for business owners and any vertical uh, for that matter, but he's a multimillionaire and he really presents information in interesting ways. And he did a video recently about 28 ways to, to stay poor. And it was just an interesting way to present this information. And us as recruiting agency owners and those that are trying to build our agencies, we're so focused on an outcome or a goal. And if we really focused on common mistakes that we need to avoid, that success is naturally going to come. So it's, it's a really interesting way to think and you need to avoid a lot of these mistakes. Before we get into these, and I chose my favorite six from that video. My name is Eric. I started my own successful recruiting agency. Now I help others do the same, make a whole lot of money doing it. Come join the free Facebook group, a ton of recruiters and agency owners. Come and join this community. Number one, keep preparing to work and don't do anything. Just keep watching videos, analyzing more strategies, looking for that perfect button to press, the perfect software, and don't do any of the work. And this is really common from a sales perspective, from a client acquisition perspective is, you know, it's, it's just a great way to see no money coming in and really halt the revenue and the cash flow coming into the business. And when I work with recruiters so often one-on-one, -on -one, people that are trying to build their agencies, this is probably the most common issue that I see is they're trying to figure out the specific niche that they want or the perfect sales email copy, whatever it may be. And we look back at the week and I say, what have you done for output? And they haven't done much of anything. This is all really, really simple. All the information that are on my videos is everything that you're going to need to build your agency. Pick a niche, get your sales process going and just go. It's not going to feel perfect. Number two, do your best, not what is required. This is going to hurt some feelings, but you need to raise the bar. If you have no clients, it's truly an effort thing. It's you not being good enough at this point in time. So it's really a matter of getting more sales activities out there, picking up the phone, sending video voicemails, doing whatever it takes to get more responses and to get more people on the phone. And one thing that he said in this video, and I'm paraphrasing, is he said, do it long enough to the point where it would be unreasonable to not see success. There are no no successful recruiting agency owners out there that didn't have to push through what they thought was their high bar. It could have been when they were starting their recruiting agency. It could have been five years ago when they got their first sales job, but we've all been through it and we all had to raise our own bar and just get better at this. Number three, we covered this a little bit, but wait for the perfect time. So this, this can go with anybody that is trying to build a side hustle as a recruiting agency or with getting your first phone calls or, or email copy out there and just getting moving is nothing is ever going to feel like the perfect time. It's always in a sense going to feel imperfect, especially when you're you're getting started. What you need to do is just take your first action today. Do not push it off to tomorrow. It doesn't matter how mediocre you think your email templates are or your software is or how your, your website looks. Take some action and start and just fail fast. Get those answers and move forward. Four, this is probably my favorite one, is do more stuff, not the right stuff. So building a recruiting agency is about focusing on the things that actually produce revenue. And my favorite one is recruiters that are always getting on the phone with candidates that, you know, if we're hiring a quarterback, they got running backs on the phone who threw the football back in high school. So maybe they're a, maybe they're a fit for this role. And they're confusing a ton of movement and a ton of activity as something that's going to produce more money. For us, especially in sales or in recruiting, we need to focus on the things that are giving us the most return, the things that are getting us the most clients, the healthiest clients that are going to produce money. Do not confuse a ton of activity in being busy as being a great recruiting agency owner. Focus on the things that make you money. Five, start something new today, start something new tomorrow. So I remember there was one woman in our Facebook group and she was in a bunch of other recruiting, you know, headhunting type groups. And every time that she would post, I would see it in, you know, four or five, it would say this post is in four of these groups. And it would always be trying to get feedback on certain software or strategies. And this was going on for a couple months. And again, she was just starting these new things. She was, she was starting a new software, I remember. And then she jumped to a new one, then a new one. And 
And this is a very common thing that a lot of business owners do because what they'll do is they'll implement some kind of a strategy and they'll look down this pipeline and realize that you actually have to do manual work. You have to build things, you have to put in that activity and then they will start a new project or a new strategy and it feels like they're building their business. So don't keep starting new things, whether it's from sales or marketing or recruiting. Find the one thing that works or at least implement one thing and put in the time to see if that's an actual good strategy. Number six, this one's huge too, is be replaceable. So there are a million generalists out there, recruiters that are getting clients and building their their giant books of clients and they work on three job boards. They have VAs that do mediocre work and they're just waiting for things to happen. And I remember I was working on a contract a few years ago and there was another recruiter that was working with us from a contract perspective. And she was saying headhunting wasn't working smart. She had, she was gone within two months, long story short, but she was working in different softwares and she wanted things to do the work for her. And she was talking about working smart and she was afraid to just do that work and do things that would make her different. And from your perspective, when you're building your recruiting agency is you need to be building something, whether it's from the way that you get your candidates or the specific focus that you have. So you have a pipeline that's very focused and large and it allows you to hit the ground running with every client that you start to work with in your niche. Have something that sets you apart, because if you don't do that, there are millions of other recruiters out there that are waiting right behind you, willing to do it for a lot cheaper. So those are my favorite six from Alex's video. So come join the free Facebook group. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're a recruiter and you want to see more content like this and check out recruiterrocket.io for a ton of free stuff to help you build your agency. Let's get out there. Let's go make some money.